Yeah, there's two. They went back across it, I think. Seema. Find that rock. We've destroyed the enemy force. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some buy gameplay and today we are going to be talking about the Rogue Company post-release thoughts slash overview. So let's head over and check it out. So with the Daybreak update, Rogue Company officially released 1.0, whatever you want to call it. It's full retail. You can insert anything that you want to insert here as to where Rogue Company currently is. And if you are someone that's been playing Rogue Company since closed beta, since alpha, since open beta, you know that the game feels substantially worse than it did when it was in beta currently. I think that there's maybe one or two other times where the game has felt as bad as it currently does with the amount of bugs, with the amount of inconsistencies, and with the amount of issues that all the players are currently experiencing. If you're going to full release a game and you're going to promote the full release of said game, there should be no reason why console players can't queue into matches. Or it forces them into backfill situations and those backfill situations immediately disconnect them back into the lobby. On top of that, you also have terrible server state right now. I don't know if it's an influx of new players, which is a good thing, but the server should be able to handle that load. Or if it's just a lack of server maintenance or just terrible servers in general the servers cannot contain what is going on in the game by any stretch of the imagination um, if there's a lot of stuff going on the server's going to start to lag if backfill starts to happen and we'll get into that in a second then the game freezes and it hitches really really badly uh, the game doesn't feel good and if you're you're touting that the game is full release now and people download it for the first time and then they load into a match finally and whenever they're in that match uh, there's constant hitching issues there's constant server disconnection or network error issues that are that are happening then what is going to make you stick around and actually play through that match and continue to play matches for rogue company also the matchmaking is Okay, here's what I'll say about the matchmaking system. The matchmaking system feels better than it did, but also the matchmaking system feels very broken. And we're going to go into this on the next episode of Broadcast. So if you want to see a full breakdown of how the matchmaking system works, why it's failing, and what needs to be done to improve it, be sure to check out the next episode of the Broadcast. Like I said, the matchmaking feels better. The matchmaking feels balanced, but it's also balanced in the incorrect way, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, it's not a good experience for anybody. And I feel bad for those people that are just now downloading the game to try to experience this free-to-play game that's full release release and they get dropped into a lobby where you have like one or two really really good people on both teams and then you have one or two really really bad people on both teams and they just get completely mopped up over and over and over again what is going to make that person want to stick around and play more matches and get better backfill backfill is still a massive problem i know that this is one of the key features that they were super excited to introduce into the game because this is a requested feature and it's going to get rid of deserter penalties and it's going to get rid of all this other stuff the system has failed okay in my opinion the system has failed i think that there's been you know several weeks when backfill was released that it didn't work it didn't do anything at all now there's a bug where like whenever you're trying to queue into a match it's going to try to put you in a backfill game and then it's either not going to allow you to connect to it or it's going to kick you out of it and then the only way to actually get into matches is by partying up with people which is fine it's a team-based game if you're going to want us to party up that's fine but whenever you're playing that game and you have someone, you know, see the previous point with matchmaking that's not really interested in playing this game because they're getting shit all over and they leave and it tries to backfill, either you're not going to get the backfill, too much time has passed for the backfill to actually come in and actually make a difference because they did say that once it got to a certain point, they would not do a backfill for that match, which makes no sense in a game like Demolition where you can actually bring it back and actually win even if you're at a severe disadvantage as long as you play smart 
if they're able to connect, if they're able to actually get into the match, there's two key moments that there is a crazy amount of server issues, hitching, lag, whatever is going on. As soon as they load into the match, it lags like crazy. As soon as they pick a character while the match is going, it lags like crazy. It's like it's sending the match in progress that information. And the match is currently running at a, at, a, at 100 miles an hour. And then you have a bullet coming in out of nowhere. And it just hits and stops everything for, for a second. Just long enough to ruin your experience. And then it starts going again. And then here comes another one. And it hits it and it stops it. It feels bad. If that's going to be something that happens in every single backfill situation then have the person backfill between rounds and then have the person pick the character between rounds. And then if you have to extend the time between rounds in order to achieve this whenever someone backfills, then write code in the game to where when a person backfills, it's going to extend that playing duration to give that person enough time to load into the match, pick their rogue, and buy stuff, and then be a part of the game. It sucks whenever you have someone that joins right before that intermission time happens and because of the timing of when they joined it doesn't allow them to pick a rogue it doesn't allow them to load into the game or actually play that following round when you're swapping sides it feels bad and it's absolutely terrible there's countless amounts of bugs in the game currently there's bugs that i've never seen before there's bugs that are coming back into the game and it's just a bad situation all the way around in my opinion this is supposed to be the greatest moment of your game this is supposed to be the pinnacle when people download your game and look back at it years and years and years when someone mentions rogue company they're going to think of that terrible experience that they had when the game actually came out of beta and into full release they downloaded the game and they had an absolutely miserable experience this is not good for anybody and there are certain developers that are working on all this stuff you've got xenon on uh, reddit he's he's talking to people asking for feedback he's trying to figure out what's going on you have radar doing the same thing that's about all i've seen i don't know what the other developers are doing but that's about all i've seen so there's some people that are genuinely interested in actually fixing the problems but whenever you only have two people working on this to try to figure out what's going on why this is happening why that's happening and they're basically hot fixing once a week or twice a week to try to get the game in a somewhat stable condition your game's not ready to go full release man i'm sorry i love this game i want this game to succeed but they kind of jumped the shark on this particular situation and they should do better they should learn to do better but that's my thoughts on the post release of rogue company i feel like you know the game has been in worse spots absolutely but this is one of the worst spots that the game has been in. And it's kind of embarrassing for me as a content creator, as someone that supports the game, as someone that promotes your game. It's embarrassing whenever you're trying to do custom matches on a Thursday night and the servers go down and you just can't do anything. It won't let you log in. It won't let you do anything. Very embarrassing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you experiencing any of these issues? What do you think about the server status, backfill, matchmaking, bugs, inconsistencies, issues? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have liked and subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button and become one of the 256 crew members. Then also on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. and Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired i will be streaming here on youtube so if you're interested and available please feel free to stop by and say hello there thanks for watching guys oh he's, yeah right there oh my oh, yeah. god ayana that's gay bruh oh yeah I'm defusing the bomb. <laughs> <Glory>. <laughs> nice work, team. Checks in the mail. They didn't see it coming. You know, you pull a shotgun out, they ain't ready for it, dude.
soon.